All right, let's take a look at week one. Week one's out. So uh, let's get Danny Cannell's thoughts as we reveal what the week one schedule is going to be. There are some very interesting matchups here. So it's going to kick off out in L.A. Super Bowl champs always open at home, and they're bringing in Buffalo, who has the shortest odds to win the Super Bowl this year. So the defending champs against the team that has the best odds to win it this year, that's a great start. And then the week ends with the Russell Wilson Bowl. You wonder when we're going to get it? Right out of the gate. Week one, Russ. Broncos go up to Seattle. That's going to be a wild scene. Some of the other matchups, you have Raiders Chargers. That's how we ended the regular season last year in a winner take all game where the Raiders pulled the upset and won. We also have a rematch of last year, week one, Cowboys Bucks. The Bucks were the champs. They opened the season there. Packers Vikes right out of the gate there. That should be pretty fun as well. You got some division games as you see there. So going to be very interesting week one already, giving you a bunch of goodies. Um, there are a lot of games to like there. What stands off the page? I mean, you got Steelers Bengals right out of the gate. Yeah. You got <laughs> Dolphins heard... Patriots, which was week one last year. What do you like here? Uh, this one to me is pretty easy. I mean, I love the Bills Rams matchup. Don't get me wrong. Competitive wise, I think that'll be probably one of the more entertaining games. But don't you always want to see what somebody looks like in a new uniform? Yep. What are they going to be? I mean, Russell Wilson going. Yep. And not only that, if it was the Broncos versus anybody, I'd be intrigued to see what Russell Wilson looked like. The fact that he's going to Seattle, his old stomping grounds with a chance for revenge and a team that looks like they're rebuilding and what could get him off to a fantastic start. I think Russell Wilson is due for a massive year this year. Coming off the injury last year, you look at how he's embraced the franchise, the city, the surroundings in Denver, moving his family out there, really settling in to play in that role. And I think he's one of those quarterbacks that brings the intangibles that Denver's been lacking at the quarterback position since Peyton Manning was there. I mean, they've had a bunch of, you know, they've had their issues at quarterback, but they need stability and they need leadership. They need somebody to set a tone and a culture in that locker room. I think Russell Wilson's the perfect example to do that. Now, they do have some issues that cropped up today that possibly could impact one of his wide mm -hmm. receivers, but... I think with the talent that's around him, I think you'll see one of the biggest improvers out there. And I, I don't know, I don't want to go out there and be a Pete Prisco and start guaranteeing, you know, Super Bowl wins right now. But it's 16 to one in the AFC. I, I don't hate the odds there. If you want to take a flyer on it, I expect big things from the Broncos. The vision is a problem with all the competitions that's in there. But Russell Wilson, I think people have been sleeping on him because of one bad year. I look at him as reinvigorated. I think he's going to have a huge year. See, I just kind of look at that division and go. There's no homecoming game, right? You, you played at Florida State. If you can't spot the homecoming <laughs> game, you are the homecoming no. game. And, and not, nobody's the homecoming game in that division. They're all pretty even. I mean, it's kind of like NASCAR. That division could be a lot like the, the AFC North last year with Baltimore and Cleveland and Pittsburgh and Cincy going out of the wire. There could be a lot of 9 and 8s, 10 and 7s. You may have to go on the highway if you make the playoffs because, I mean, there's not a lot of Jacksonvilles and Houstons in, the, in, the, in, the, in that division, which is going to be tough. And again, the AFC... You get the one less home game this year. The AFC had the more home games last year. That was the first year of the 17 games. All right, Russ versus Seattle. Obviously, huge game. Call it revenge game, but, you know, one of those kind of things. Whatever word you want to use, we'll use revenge for lack of a better term. Let me give you some of the other ones. Pick one out. Deshaun Watson going to play against the Texans, assuming he's eligible based on time of year and that kind of thing. How about Carson Wentz against the Colts and the Eagles? A.J. Brown against the Titans. And let me throw one little off the board. Mike McCarthy against the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Which one is mm. the biggest revenge game on the board for Danny Cannell? Can I get one that you didn't give me? Yeah, of course. I like the Bucks rams Remember how Tom Brady lost last season at home, sent packing, when it, you know, he puts his team in a position to you know, extend that game, to win that game. Matthew Stafford makes a great throw, wins the game. I'm curious to see uh, that game. I'm also curious to see, like, yeah, anytime Tom Brady's involved, Tom Brady going back to San Francisco to play against Jimmy Garoppolo, his old, you know, back up there. There's, I mean, all of these are great games. The Mike McCarthy going back to Green Bay, but I don't, you know, the coach thing doesn't, it doesn't do it as much as seeing a player. I'll say A.J. Brown in the Tennessee rematch. Like, I, that one to me was one of the surprising trades we saw during the draft. I think it from both angles. I know, you know, from the Titans' perspective, what does it mean for Ryan Tannehill? I think they've got to feel flustered, a little bit, you know, rattled. What are they going to do with Traylon Burks, who I'm big on, the young rookie they drafted? So I'll throw that one out there as a really intriguing matchup. Yeah, Deshaun Watson ones, against the Texans is going to be – that's going to be a weird if it, scene. If, if they got to put it towards – got to put that towards the back end, right, just to try to 
to see if we can I, I get would, it? I would think so. And by the way, the yeah. NFL, with what they've released already so far, has knocked it out of the park. Danny Cannell, you did the same thing. He'll be with us all <laughs> night long, letting us know what's going on. And uh, top of the hour, that's it. Schedule release. You get it all. We'll know. And we have you covered. We'll break it down. Best possible ways, what you really need to know. I mean, you can look at the opponents right now. You, you know who your team's playing, and you know the home games and the road games. Now you're going to get the order and how and what it all means. We have you covered. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.